Happy Monday morning, dreamers. I am going to start the video off right away this morning talking about unraveling your beliefs. So this is page 11 in your workbook. And if you haven't already done page 11, um, I encourage you to do so now. That's also the day two exercise. So I think that where we're starting to transition here is that the day one exercise is about finding your focus and, and you know discovering what you want. That's a relatively easy thing to do compared to this where we're, we're looking to unravel or uncover some hidden beliefs. Um, in the, in the book that I've written that's being published by Hay House, I actually refer to this as barrier beliefs. And the reason I refer to it as barrier beliefs is because to me, truly, um, when you have a, an, an unconscious belief or a subconscious belief that's holding you back, it doesn't just limit you from your dreams. It actually builds a brick wall between you and what you want. So it's like you're on this side of the wall and your dream is on the other side of the wall. So one of the ways that we can start to move past these patterns in our life is to uncover the belief. Now, the really good news is I don't think that you have to go as far as to know where the belief came from. It's just good enough to be aware that the belief is there. I've gotten several messages from people in the group um, telling me that they really appreciated this exercise and that it was super tough. Um, to look at themselves in that way. So it's it starts off kind of easy. So you name something that you want to be true in your life. And for me, I chose romantic, having a romantic partner. Then you need to ask yourself the question, what are three reasons why this isn't true for me right now? And since I'm a doer, I actually came up with four. So I put, I'm stuck on my ex. Um, there are no men in my area that match my ideal mindset. My children are too much of a challenge and I'm too busy. So from there, we want to go with what your number one thing is. And we want to say, why is this creating an obstacle? So for example, if I were to pick um, my number four thing, I'm too busy. Then I would say three reasons why that creates an obstacle, such as um, I become unresponsive with going back and forth with messaging. I find it hard to find the time to schedule to actually go out to a dinner date and you know you just you try to come up with three reasons why that's an obstacle and then you move on to your second thing your third thing and if you have more than three things you know keep repeating for each of your reasons why the thing you want isn't happening for you now once you have all of that part complete, which by the way, you don't have to do this in a day. So mine actually took me a couple of days because, well, I started to do it and then I stopped and then I started to do it again. So um, you're looking for the common beliefs that encompass all of the things that you wrote in your obstacles. So it, it you might not be able to see your own. It's great idea if you're struggling to see what are the commonalities to post in the group, or even if you have a trusted friend that you could have look over the worksheet together, they, they might be able to identify what the beliefs are. Um, I did come up with three beliefs out of mine that number the, they're not really number one, two, and three in that order, but the three beliefs I had were that I'm not worth it that I am broken, damaged, or unlovable, and that I drive men away. So, hmm, boy, that's really what you wanna focus on. <laughs> so that was tough um, for me to look at those things and realize that uh, may, it may not be that I look like I believe those things about myself, but that was what came up for me in the information that I wrote down myself. Th those were the common beliefs that I came up with. And then once, and, and again, you know, the, the real work is in the magic of the reflection. So once you have that worksheet complete, you want to move on to answering the reflection questions. So the first one is, can you identify a pattern of behavior that is a reflection of this belief? And I came up with, um, I came up with several, I believe, um, or I came up with at least three patterns in mine and I found it very interesting because one of the patterns I came up with was um, having my walls up and um, another one was over giving and the third one was accepting scraps. So I found it 
I found the questions to be bringing out even more information that I wanted to look at. How has having this pattern held you back from pursuing your dreams? And the third question is, think of an experience or a challenge that is directly related to the belief to the belief or pattern of behavior. It could look like a choice that led you down a dark path or prevented something amazing from happening in your life. So for example, um, I was in an abusive relationship in the past that I knew that I shouldn't have been, but because of this pattern, I be a pattern of behavior that I have about accepting scraps, I actually put myself in harm's way during a vacation, and you know that was a that was a big lesson learned, and um, you know hopefully one that I won't be repeating. So you'll be happy to hear that these beliefs can completely be changed. It does take time. So it's not as if you're going to do this worksheet and change your belief. So what we need to do is create new neural pathways in your mind to develop a stronger new belief system. So one of the ways we refer to doing that in the workbook is by doing affirmations. Um, I believe that there are so many ways to create um, new belief systems. For example, just, you know, paying attention to always talking about what you want instead of what you don't want. Hypnosis, yoga, even mantras. I mean, mantras are to me another form of affirmation and even prayer or writing in your journal about what you want and what you want to believe about yourself. That's it for day two. Let me know if you have any questions and please continue to post in the group. I'm really enjoying the results. Thank you. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications, at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.